Attorney General Daniel Cameron appoints a special prosecutor to investigate the three unsolved cases of Jason Ellis, Crystal Rogers, and Tommy Ballard. The families are applauding the move, but it's also fueling further speculation that all three cases are connected. May 25th, 2013. Bardstown police officer Jason Ellis was on his way home after a shift when he was ambushed, shot, and killed on a Bluegrass Parkway exit ramp. July 3rd, 2015 is the last time Crystal Rogers was ever seen. Her car with her purse, phone, and keys inside found on the side of the Bluegrass Parkway the next day. And November 19th, 2016, Crystal's father, Tommy Ballard, was shot in the chest and killed as he was about to go hunting on family property in Nelson County. Three high-profile cases, all unsolved. At the direction of the Attorney General, all three investigations are now being taken over by Special Prosecutor Commonwealth's Attorney Shane Young. Daniel Cameron's office saying it's making, quote, administrative adjustments in the case in order to streamline a continued effort toward justice. Also adding, quote, these minor alterations clarified lines of authority. I don't believe that Mr. Young would have taken this appointment unless he was willing to devote the time necessary to do what needs to be done. And I've known Shane Young for years. In my opinion, one of the finest Commonwealth attorneys we have in the Commonwealth. Legal expert and Louisville attorney Thomas Clay says naming a special prosecutor is the right call. Yes, because things don't seem to be going anywhere. And I know there's information out there that would be available and valuable to those seeking to get to the bottom of this that just hasn't been pursued yet. In all three cases, nothing has made it to court. That's even despite extensive FBI searches of a 200-acre farm belonging to the family of Brooks Houck. Houck is the only suspect ever named in the Rogers case and was her boyfriend at the time of her disappearance. After the last search in October, the FBI saying evidence was sent to a lab in Quantico. Sherry Ballard, Crystal Rogers' mother and Tommy Ballard's widow, says she has met with a special prosecutor already on several occasions. We get one shot at this, and it has to be done right. So I want them to make sure they have all the I's dotted and the T's crossed before this goes to trial. Ballard also saying she believes her husband and daughter's cases are connected to the murder of Jason Ellis. I've always thought things were connected from day one because of the people involved. Jason Ellis's widow also reacting to the special prosecutor appointment. Amy Brown telling WDRB, quote, it will only help to have fresh eyes on these unsolved cases that have caused a lot of pain in our community. As we are approaching the 10-year anniversary, this brings renewed hope that Jason's murder will be brought to justice so that we can finally have some closure. Notably not included in the special prosecutor's investigation are the 2014 murders of mom and daughter Kathy and Samantha Netherland at their home in Bardstown.